Would you like to know an option trading strategy that has the potential to pay off in a really big way if you're correct? And yet the stock can actually move against you in a big way. You can still walk away with a small credit. In this video, I'm going to show you how we use risk reversals to generate very high returns and cash flow in our main option trading account. A risk reversal is simply an option position in which you sell an out of the money put option and buy an out of the money call option. Both of them will have the same expiration date. Before I show you the trade we did using this risk reversal strategy in Disney, let me show you the chart setup that prompted us to enter this Disney position. Here you see on the left, the daily chart, and on the right, the weekly chart of Disney on the day that we entered this risk reversal position, which was June 10th. As you'll see in a minute by the expiration dates I picked, this position was meant to be a long-term position if that's what it took for it to be profitable. As you can see at the white and yellow arrows on June 10th, Disney actually broke below an area that had been serving as support for about a month for it. However, at this point, I felt pretty strong that Disney was just flat oversold. And as a result, I wanted to be in a position that would benefit if it experienced a rebound. One of the reasons why I chose to enter this risk reversal on this big down day is that it enabled us to get a higher premium for the put option that we sold. But with it breaking through this area that had previously served as support for it, I also wanted to give this position plenty of time for Disney to experience a rebound so it could be profitable for us. Because of that, here you see the trade we did. In the blue box at the purple arrow, you see that we sold to open the January of 2024 $75 cash secured put option. That expiration date was about one and a half year out. We got $6.08 per share for that put option. Simultaneously, we bought the same expiration day, 150 call option. If you notice up top at the purple arrow, that call option cost us $4.79 per share. So in all, we put $1.29 per share into our pocket for doing this trade. Here in the blue box, you see the explanation I gave to my patrons that night when I sent them our write-up for the day's trades. I told them that we were making a long-term play in Disney. This is a company that I really like over the long term and is pretty beaten down right now. So we took advantage of this big down day to get our order filled by selling a cash secure put option that was about 25% lower than where Disney was trading at. We then used that cash to buy a call option that was about 50% higher than where it was trading at. This is a position that we're going to enter and just kind of forget about it. We check on it every now and then, but the plan was to leave it alone and see if over the next year and a half, Disney rebounded. Here's an important point to keep in mind. One of the reasons why I went so far out in time is because I wanted our short put option to be pretty far away from Disney's current price. If Disney went as low as $75 per share, I'd be ecstatic to own it at that price. But if it rebounded, that call option should pay off in a pretty big way, especially if it rebounded fairly quickly. Now keep in mind that when you enter these long-term leaps positions, just because they expire a year and a half from now, it doesn't mean that you have to stay in that position for that whole year and a half. You can always exit the position early by closing it out. And when we do a trade like this, we're looking for that to happen and for the opportunity to close it out early. And if we see the opportunity come up, we go ahead and take advantage of it. And in fact, that's exactly what we did with this position. Here you see the Disney chart up to the date that we exited this position. As you can see in the white boxes throughout part of June and July, Disney traded lower and found support right around 90 per share. However, towards the end of July, Disney began to take off and it went up and up and up. Over the next month, it went from 90 per share all the way up to 125 per share. As you can see in the left daily chart at the white arrow, it was now hitting up against the red 200 exponential moving average. This coincided with over in the right weekly chart at the yellow arrow, notice that it was also hitting up against the green 50 exponential moving average. Because it moved so much so fast, and was now hitting up against a couple of major moving averages, I decided that it was time to exit this position early. In just a second, I'm going to show you how much we pocketed. But first, I wanna show you the power of technical analysis. I know some traders say that technical analysis is just a waste of time. Personally, I think technical analysis is a tool that every single trader should learn and know how to use. And here you see why. We exit this position because Disney was hitting up against a couple of major moving averages. And because of that read on that technical analysis, our exit in this position was done at the perfect time. We closed the position at the left side of that white arrow. Now we don't always time them this perfect, but it was nice to have one that our timing was absolutely to perfection. Now that we've exited this position, we're looking for another opportunity to do a new risk reversal when the odds appear to be in our favor of entering that new position. Before I show you how this trade turned out, if you want to become a more profitable stock and option trader, please do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button and bell notification. And if you're finding benefit in this video, please hit the like button as well. Here you see the trade we did to exit this position. 
On August 17th, we close it out by selling to close the 150 call option and buying to close the $75 cash secure put option. For doing that, we put $7.70 per share into our pocket. Notice that in my notes to my patrons in the blue box at the bottom line, that I was just reminding them that on top of receiving the $7.70 per share when we exited this position, initially when we entered it, we were also paid $1.29 per share. So in all, we put $8.99 per share into our pocket with this position. We're in this position for 68 days. If you annualize that return based on the $75 we had at risk, if Disney had gone to zero, it equates to a 64.3% annualized non-leverage return on capital. So you see how it turned out, but what if Disney had just gone sideways? Let's say that it didn't go anywhere. Remember that initially we received $1.29 per share. So as long as Disney didn't go below our $75 cash secure put option, we'd at least walk away with that $1.29 per share. The return wouldn't have been great, but at least we would have put some cash into our pocket, even though the trade didn't turn out as we had planned that it would. By getting that credit up front, it also meant that time decay was our friend instead of our enemy. But can you use this risk reversal strategy instead of buying a stock outright? In my opinion, this is actually a superior strategy to buying a stock outright in some occasions. For example, if we had bought the stock outright, remember that on the day we entered this trade, Disney was trading for right around $95 per share. Not only would we not have received an initial credit when we entered this position, but we've had to come out of pocket $95 per share to buy that stock. And if Disney declined, we would have been losing penny for penny with the position. On the other hand, by using options, Disney could actually have declined by around $20 per share or all the way down to $75 and we'd still get a win because we received that credit up front. On top of that, if we want to decrease our risk to the downside, we could also have bought a leaps protective put option somewhere below $75 per share. It can be challenging to trade options in a small account. If you'd like to see three of my favorite option trading strategies that work in a small and a large account, please check out the video at the link above and in the description below. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.